Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We are going to Colorado Springs today to go to Costco. And that's pretty much the only thing. <laughs> that's pretty much the only thing we have you planned. I just wanted to go into town. I just wanted on to go a into a, a city on a Saturday. And that is totally fine. Thank you for your support. Sure. We're in the van. <laughs> Lil's is in the back in a blanket. She's still not happy about it, but she doesn't know how spoiled she is. Another dirt road. See what this turn looks like, but kind of. Oh yeah, I don't think we're making it through there. Oh, That's crazy, though. Yeah. We found the coolest little road. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure if these would have fit though. I feel like maybe, but let's walk for a bit, and if it's cool, go through it. Rome's happy. Okay, Tristan wants to drink that. Hey, you gotta wait. What else? It's gotta clear up first. Hey, that's my water. <laughs> God, it's still good when it's muddy. It's even better. <laughs> yeah, see, that's good shit. Yep. Try it. <laughs> A lot. A meat. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. Yeah. We spent. We spent some cash. It's more of my real beverage. <laughs> well, we made our city trip. Show yeah. the back of the van. Fully loaded. <laughs> Even got a painting for a friend. And. 300 Ziploc bags. You should see the fridge actually, it's just stocked full of meat. Because Costco is definitely a big part of going down to Colorado Springs, I'll tell you that much. But it is crazy just being up in Salida for this little bit. You go down to Costco and there's a whole bunch of people going around and it's just like, oh, oh geez, like a little overwhelming. But Got all of her stuff. Went to Goodwill, which was, I don't know, what'd you think of that Goodwill? It wasn't that good of a will. It was a medium will. Extra medium will. But we yeah. did get a toaster oven, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, we did get a toaster oven, so pretty excited about that. Now we're just making the drive home. Two hours back to Salida. Salida. Okay. We're making a pit stop on the way home, and Rome just got a fat. I'm out of breath. Rome just got a fat cactus stuck in her foot. Hence the reason why we're training her to wear doggo shoes. Cute pink doggo shoes. But I pulled it out, so all is well. Our life just consists of. Finding, roads. finding awesome roads and walking on them. This is a good one. It is a good one. If you ever wonder um, where I take all my Instagram photos, it's somewhere like this. This is beautiful. Let's take a selfie. We're home. Someone's a little sleepy. We got. Lots of groceries to put away. <laughs> okay, if you watched last video, you know that I've been training to have little boots on Rome. And let me show you the progress. Rome, come! Yes, good girl! <laughs> oh, it's just about the cutest thing in the world. Stay. 
Run, come. Yes, good girl. Spin. Yes. Okay, we just had our cucumber salad. I was talking about that earlier. <laughs> I was gonna say, what a subject to start with. <laughs> no, By I... the way, everybody, we just had a cucumber salad. <laughs> and um, someone just messaged us and wants to view. That isn't a scam. That isn't a scam. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of scam messages for like selling our van or whatever, but I don't think this person's a scam. They want to come view it tomorrow, which is exciting. Yeah. But it kind of needs to be a little bit cleaned a little bit more, as I was saying last time. So guess what we're doing at 8 p.m.? Hello, welcome to my office. I had great intentions of filming today and haven't at all because I don't know why. Um, I took a day off work because I just wanted to. I wanted to just like get out of the house. And so I took her out to go play in a field and she had her two front boots on because I'm still like getting her used to all four of them. So I was just going to start with two, but of course in her back foot, she got a cactus stuck in her foot. Hence why we're getting these boots. And so she just kind of shut down a little bit after that and wasn't very happy so and now she has the hiccups but then i went to walmart to go get some groceries for dinner but little update tristan and i decided that in the intermedium of why we haven't sold this van yet we're gonna rent it out and we posted the listing last night and we already got a booking which is really cool but um we obviously need to like stock it with some stuff for them like it's like an airbnb and like we don't have any like silverware cups and plates and stuff like that so anyways so with that being said let me show you what i got at walmart i got i got some cute little cups for in here they're plastic which normally i hate but i figured renting a van out is probably smarter and honestly Pretty cute, pretty trendy, so I was like, whatever. And I got two little salt and pepper things because I figured that'd be nice to have in a rental. I don't know, Think going back to my Airbnb time. Got a few little bowls and plates. They're also like plastic, but they're made from recycled plastic, so at least that's cool. But again, I just figured like for a van, it makes sense and honestly pretty cute some silverware to match some cooking utensils some knives wine opener beer thingy because I figured that'd be used and a little set of bowls for I don't know food what is that called leftovers or like mixing shit and whatever so anyways that's all I got right now we're definitely still gonna need like cookware and linens for the bed and probably some couches for the couch but i figured this was a good start and i didn't want to get ahead of myself so okay cutting board salt and pepper shaker down here is the bowls the plates some cooking utensils some knives cute cups and the silverware so i think really we just need pots and pans and then linens obviously like I was saying and then like soap and stuff like that but honestly and all of that at Walmart was for $50 which I'm a Target girl but sometimes you just got to do it you know and I'm learning that somebody is ready to go home and take a nap and honestly so am I all right we made it back home she's still not letting me get the cactus out of her foot so I'm honestly probably gonna have to wait till Tristan gets home so we can freaking hold her down or something I don't know but yeah so just went on our little adventure I'm gonna prep some dinner now for Tristan and I and then 
I don't know, honestly, I might go take like a friggin' bath or something. It's dumping out, so I'm just tired. Happy Friday. It's 8.30. It's 8.30 in the morning and I already took Rome out on a walk and had a smoothie and sat in the sun for a little bit. So it's been a pretty nice morning. And Tristan and I were just talking about whether we should just stay home this weekend and just have like a relaxing evening or if we should drive. <laughs> drive and go on another adventure. And of course I'm leaning the adventure. We also decided to put our van up for rent as well as up for sale. And we already have two bookings, which is pretty cool. So I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna sell it or if we're just gonna rent it or whatever, but I don't know if it stays this consistent, like maybe we can rent it for a little bit longer because it's been literally two days and we've gotten two bookings, which is cool. And it's just like an easy way to pay off the van payment. Um, it kind of just like pays for itself, but obviously there's like work involved with that. But yeah, we don't have a booking this weekend. So we were like, okay, well, camera died again because I'm a freaking noob at this. But anyways, we're going on a trip and we got to stock the van because we're renting it. So I'm gonna go to Walmart, my favorite place ever, um, to go kind of finish the stocking the van. We need to get some bedding for it, pots and pans. I might've said that earlier, but I might've not. So I can take you there. We're gonna stock it and then we're gonna go on a little adventure. Happy Friday. And if you're asking yourself, Sadie, are you really going out in public like that? Yes, because I'm going to Walmart. Also, you're just gonna have to ignore that annoying LED thing. It's because there's LED lights in here. A pot and a pan for in here. Pasta, veggies, whatever got a dish drying mat that we use at our house and we used in here too, so cheap. Um, a little thing, 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 whatever. Some paper towels, some biodegradable toilet paper, some chips for not renters for Tristan and I for this weekend. Eggs for Tristan and I for this weekend. Oh, there's leftovers in here. Got a cute little whatever this is called for the thing, and it folds down, which is cool. Got a little pot that will fit in this small little oven or whatever. Got some soap. Got a little scrubby guy. Got some dog wipes. This is honestly, well, probably is for guests too, but for us, for Rome, because, you know. Got some coffee for them, because we do have a pour over we're gonna leave in here. And I don't wanna, I don't know. I just feel like it's nice and this thing's cheap. And then whenever we use the van, we already have coffee in here instead of having to like grab the coffee thing from our house to come in here. And last but not least, two cute little mugs. I will say it does feel pretty counterintuitive to buy a bunch of stuff for the van when we're trying to sell it. But like, if we want to rent it, obviously we just have to, like we can't give them a, van with no toilet paper or bedding. So, um, wow, that smells weirdly good. Um, 
the stuff I'm buying will just go to um, our camping stuff when we camp. Because we obviously don't have camping stuff because we lived in the van, so we got rid of all of our like traditional camping stuff. But if we sell the van, we're going to need camping stuff. So like all this stuff that we got, for example, will just be our camping stuff. So it kind of works out, but it's just like not really what I want to be spending money on right now, but it is what it is. Okay, I got the van totally packed. It's all ready to go. It was so much easier to pack it now that we have like dishware and actual stuff for the van because before I would have to like bring everything from the house to the van, so that's really nice. And I'm just waiting for Tristan to get off work. He should be off in like 10 minutes. And I also today it was baking bread. So we're gonna have some fresh bread for our little road trip. We're just going for one night, but we're going out to the wildflowers or the, what do they call it? The super bloom, I guess, in Colorado. I don't know, obviously I've never seen it. So we, I only have, I work on Sunday, so we only have one day off, but we're gonna go tonight and go see the flowers tomorrow. Okay, I was gonna wait for Tristan to get here, or maybe even dinner, but I've literally had a perfect bar today and I'm freaking starving. So, let's cut into this bad boy. I've never filmed it before. Feels good. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that steaming, Oof. oh yeah, we need a, a fat slice of this. He actually did just get home. Yes. First bite. Mm. <laughs> that was delayed response. <laughs> mm. That was good, <laughs> that's so good. All right, I feel like I've only made like four YouTube videos, but I've been in this position many times when I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I say, we're ready to go, but we are ready to go, so. We're leaving Salida Valley, going through Buena Vista right now. We're gonna go over the Collegiate Rains Range on Cottonwood Pass Road, which is normally closed during the winter because they get so much snow. It used to be a dirt road, so they finally paved it. And I think we're gonna go up to like almost probably 12,000 feet. Should be exciting. And then we'll just drive till sunset, find a nice place to park and make some dinner. Yeah, drive till we find a dope spot. Yeah. But it is freaking gorgeous. There's a moose. No way. It's huge. It's a bull too. He's got his horns cut. Oh, don't go into the forest, Our buddy. Nailers. That was sweet. Where'd he go? He's going down there. Oh, he's huge. Let's see it. Wow. Oh, that was cool. Those guys are so that was cool. cool. <laughs> wow. So we're on the top of a mountain. Like, really, really high mountain. No, we're literally above the timber line, hence the no trees. Yeah. It's I crazy. Well, we're going up there. All right, it's pretty. It's pretty. So now we're gonna like be in a valley and sneak over. It's like, no, if you're gonna drive right over the top above the timber line, like. Oh, fuck. Jeez, jeez. <laughs> okay, we found a sweet spot, we think. I think it's pretty good. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, <laughs> we got two piers. Rama, come. Good job. Good girl. It is freaking gorgeous out. Good job. Well, another night and I got my slips on again. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, we're gonna go tromping through the, you even said, we're going tromping through the woods. 
And I, I said, just, bring boots. I did bring boots. I just don't have them on currently. Okay, I think we're almost ready for all four booties. Just wanted her to get totally comfortable on two. I just ready? Freaking love with <laughs> it's been. Yeah, the fact that. Oh shit. The fact that they're pink is pretty adorable, but she's gotten pretty comfortable. Good girl. All right. Got our little pork chop slaw dinner. I think we had this last time we made a video. Really? I don't remember. Sadie don't got me no. on pork chops. Yeah, pork chops have always been, I don't know, it's a Puerto Rican thing, I guess. Can you lay down? That was... Good morning, my family. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Wow, we slept good. We got a little spot by the river. Don't know if you can see it out there. Uh, kinda. We're gonna go somewhere else to have coffee and breakfast, and then we're gonna go see the Super Bloom. Wow. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we just walked around Crested Butte a little bit. Super cute. Really small, but cute. And now we're gonna go try to find these wildflowers. Going over a little creek, uphill. That's cool. Someone camping up there. Sun just went away, but gorgeous. Where's our dog? Up there. Oh. Are you doing, Romy? We just tromped around. Rums, rums up front. That's just like the bumpy roads. We just tromped around all the way down there. Played in the river for a bit. Took some photos. We're gonna head back down. And I think we might try to look up a little trail to go see some more wildflowers because I think we're a bit early. I, like you can see all of the, what is that called? The blooms? No, not the blooms. The bulbs? The plants, they're coming up. You can see all the plants. Fresh the, foliage. Fresh foliage, that's gonna turn into flowers, but it's not quite there, but it's still so pretty. But anyways, Lil's gets passenger princess duties. Along with me, of course. <laughs> I I forgot to film, <laughs> but we made it to this lake. Tristan and Rome are way down there. You can't really you can't see them, but we were just down there. All three of us. Rome's playing fetch, Tristan's fishing, and I am making us some lunch right now. So, it's freaking really nice out, and I literally only brought sweatpants, so I'm wearing Tristan's t-shirt tied up, and I did bring a skirt for like photo shoots, but it's like a long ass skirt, so now I'm wearing it because I'm dying of heat, but that's really nice out. Check out my outfit. We have Tristan's shirt. We have Tristan's fishing hat. We have the infamous Ugg boots and this skirt. I think those are not Ugg boots. I think those are Ugg slippers. Ugg slips. All right, we're back home, and as tradition, it's time to show you how much of a disaster it is. 
when we're gone for even like a night in the van. So, I'm gonna do some cleaning and I hope you guys have a great week. Okay, bye.